I think generally when when people picture an image from a Danny Boyle movie, I, I think it's usually of people running. The things that stick with yeah. people, whether it's the opening of the original Train Spotting or it's something like 28 Days Later. I feel like there's a lot of running in your films and uh, and that it's as much, perhaps as much literal as it is metaphorical. You would think about it because obviously the, the in the first film, that opening sequence of the first film is pretty... It's quite famous now in a way that kind of like haunts you. So if you ever have running in a movie, you've got to think, oh my God, yeah, is it going to be the same as in Trainspotting or not? Um, I like momentum, like really genuinely, I'm addicted to it. In, and I also believe the art form of cinema is, ext- it defines the art form of cinema. Two things divide the art, for me, define the art form of cinema, which is momentum, which is this, con- and it used to be, the cameras are different now, of course, but it used to be literally Mm -hmm. Uh, To watch a film, you were watching a series of still pictures forced through a projector at enormous speed. You know, literally the act itself was momentum, was forward momentum. And that reflected, I think, in the stories, in the way we, especially mainstream cinema. But also time is an extraordinary art form of time because you can speed up that momentum, stretch it, you can stop it, freeze it. There's no other art form could do that kind of stuff. And people who sit in the cinema have given you, and they've paid for it, they've given you two hours of their time. I mean, which other art form does that, where they go, here you go, I'm gonna sit in this room, I'm not gonna talk to anyone, I'm not gonna wander around, nothing. Just gonna sit still, that's it, you've got me for two. I mean, it's like, those seem to me to define cinema, really, and I, and I think back to the origins of cinema and where it came from, which is working people who are obl- ob- obliterated by work would sit in a darkened room and watch a train come towards them and scream as a way of relief from the burden of their lives. I mean, I connect with that. I don't make those huge, huge movies, but I love watching them and I, I, and I understand they are the kind of mountain around which we gather, you know? 